What is going on, fellow Warriors of Light? Basil back with you with another Final Fantasy XIV video. Today we're going to be going over the information that we received from Square Enix about the upcoming events in Final Fantasy XIV. But before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe if you like our content. Don't forget we have a giveaway happening at 1,000 subscribers of Diablo 4 or a game of your choice. Also, don't forget to check out Chig on Twitch at twitch.tv slash thechig. Alright, with all that out of the way, let's get into it a little bit. Uh, the very first thing that we got for the keynote right after the countdown was just a straight up trailer for the next expansion. Um, so, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and be quiet for a second and let you guys enjoy. All right, now that we have seen the trailer for Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail, let's get into the things that actually were went over during the keynote. Um, so the first thing is we are definitely closing the chapter on the Hydaelyn and Zodiac uh, arc, and um, this expansion is about, and I quote Yoshi P on this, summer vacation. It's more of an adventure. Um, we're going to be going to a new continent and in said continent we are um, going to be partaking in like a contest of sorts um, we're not going to be teamed up with all of our scions we're going to be on different sides with some of the scions we don't know which ones are going to be on our side which ones aren't just yet but uh, the contest is to, meant to obtain the throne of the leader of the new hub city his name is Galul Jaja. And yeah, that's that's really all we know story-wise about what's going to be happening in the expansion. Uh, so I'll try to keep updated when the next, uh, key, next fan fest happens. And hopefully be able to provide a few more details. So the new continent that we are going to is the New World. Uh, they gave us two zones and a hub city so far as to places we will be going. Uh, the hub city being called Tuleyolal, um, and the two zones being Urkupacha, which is a more of a mountainous zone, 
um, with giants and very small creatures alike. And then Yachtel, which is more of a foresty area. They also advise that we will be getting new beast tribes. Uh, only one of them has been announced so far, and they are the Pelu Pelu. They are confirmed to have a role in the story, but as of yet, they've not really given us any information as to what their actual role is going to be. Alright, and now that we know where we're going to be heading, uh, it's time to start getting into a little bit more of the, the nitty gritty details. So, they did say that we are going to be getting a level cap increase from 90 to 100. Um, and Yoshi P tried to troll us by, you know, just walking in with a black button up t-shirt. But, um, he took off the black button up t-shirt to reveal a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shirt. Um, and he announced that we are going to be getting two new jobs. One of which being Melee DPS and the other one being Ranged Magical DPS. Um... With it being a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt, I'm going to think it's going to be something probably uh, gear-wise that competes with Ninja. Seeing as, as of right now, they don't have loot competition. But that's something we're just going to have to find out whenever that time gets to us. Uh, they also said that uh, dyes are going to change a little bit. And we will be able to apply two dyes to our gear. Um, now, the way that that makes me think is certain parts of the gear will be dyed with whatever your base color is, and then the second color will be on a different part. Um, not 100%, but yeah. They did say that this is probably not going to work with uh, some of the housing items, so they said it probably won't be usable on the more complex items. He also stated that older gear will get revamped later so that's when that'll be something that they they introduce later um now for one of the biggest things at least in my opinion they announced some information about the free trial um they went into detail that the free trial, as of patch 6.5, will be all the way through Stormblood instead of just Heavensward now. This is going to help with uh, new people coming to the game. Uh, hopefully more and more people are going to start playing. We can, uh, you know, share our love for this fantastic, fantastic game. Um, after that, we got a list of system requirements updates due to the new revamped world um, and before I show what the system requirements are I'm gonna go ahead and let you see uh, some of the examples they gave of the new graphical update
All right, and now that you guys see what the new graphics are going to look like, you might be able to understand why. But uh, here are the new graphics re or the system requirements for Dawn Trail. Now, before we go, there is one last major piece of information that they shared, and that is... Final Fantasy XIV and Microsoft have finally paired up. And Windows will not be the only Microsoft product that Final Fantasy XIV runs on. So, as of right now, their plans are at 6.5.x to go into a open beta for Final Fantasy XIV to be on Xbox Series X and S. And then by the time that 7.0 launches, they hope to have Final Fantasy XIV pretty much on everything. And that's just going to bring more players, more groups, more fun. So I am really looking forward to that. Okay, I uh, seem to have forgotten already. And uh, now that I remember, I can tell you. There's going to be a Final Fantasy XIV and Fall Guys crossover event. Now, crossover means both are happening. So, with Fall Guys, we are going to be getting a, um, a, a, the skins from Final Fantasy XIV. So, you're going to have your, your Alphano and your Alice A, and all of them are going to be in Fall Guys. In addition to that, Final Fantasy XIV is going to be getting a Fall Guys themed mode gameplay thing in the Golden Saucer. So, um, here in just a second, I will show the trailer that they gave for the Fall Guys. And I will hopefully enjoy this. Uh, it doesn't, it, I've never played Fall Guys, but I would assume it's fun because a lot of people love it. Fellow Warriors of Light, I believe that is just about the bulk of the things that were went over during the keynote today. Obviously, they announced that we will be getting, um, you know, some Blue Mage updates. You know, crafters will be able to go up higher levels and everything else. But for the most part, that's that's the bulk of information that we got today. With some minor details, obviously, we're going to be doing uh, the same thing as usual. More dungeons, more trials, more raids, more alliance raids. And they did announce that we would be getting a new extreme. Um, so, yeah. With all that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Warriors of Light. Until next time, have a fantastic day.